What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review and today we're going to be looking at the Silver Foxes David Pearson's 1971 Pure Later Mercury Cyclone for Wood Brothers Racing. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. So let's go and take our 360 look at this car and uh, of course I uh, really wanted to do this review a long time ago but as I said in the previous video I have been backed up and busy and whatnot but um of course as anybody who knows anything about nascar uh david pearson passed away a few weeks ago as recording this video and uh i was able to chance upon the university of racing's uh university of racing legends uh david pearson uh pure later cyclone which is one of my favorite uh nascar classics just a beautiful uh die cast actually found it uh my uh diecast uh dealer actually got a bunch in from plan b sales they said they weren't going to raise the price of them but they're probably going to sell out for obvious reasons and he did have a few of the autographed ones but uh that's an extra 30 bucks that i didn't have and i just really wanted this car so uh anyways without any further ado let's go ahead and get in the details of the car and there are plenty of it to get into this one so, as we look at the front, we have uh, just the number 21 on the headlights, engraved in black. And, of course, we have our actual mesh grill right there. And on the hood, we have Pure Later 429 cubic inches. Let's take a look under the hood. Uh, if we can get it to open. There we go. And, uh, can't really see, unfortunately, which is not good. Um, but there is the best I can do with the detail of the engine. And of course we have, uh, our wires and plugs. Just, just, uh, it doesn't really do, uh, justice, unfortunately. But my, uh, background light, unfortunately, uh, blew out. And, uh, my parents got rid of it. So, yeah, there's that. And of course on the roof we have the famous 21. 21 on deck lid and if you can notice they actually use like the uh reflective uh decaling or uh striping not really sure how they did that but it's actually reflective which uh they wanted to do that with paul menard's throwback but nascar being killjoys as they are now did not let it allow it to be reflective but stock has it and let's take a look under the deck lid there's our fuel cell of course we got peer later on the back we got 21 Nothing on the bumper. And on the left side of the car, we have Mercury. We have Pure Later. We got 21 on the door with David Pearson's name just above it. We got our 1971 contingencies. And I really wish you would focus. Just a beautiful car, beautiful paint scheme, a beautiful die cast. Let's take a look at the right side of the car which is the same as the left. I believe he won the Daytona 500 this year in this car. Or maybe not the Daytona 500. I actually think Richard Petty won the Daytona 500. He did win the Daytona 500 in this car, just not this exact model. Um, pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure people will. There's the engine detail underneath the car. Got a bunch of licensing stuff on the bottom, but uh, still doesn't hurt it for me. And if you can just get a little bit of a, a detail inside there, there's no window net, of course. But yeah, there's the car itself. So let's take a quick look at the box. So typical University of Racing Legends box, which is uh, a lot more interesting than Lionel's uh, regular run of boxes. Of course, we got a nice picture of the car itself right here. And I got uh, David Pearson's number 21, 71 Mercury Cyclone. Got Wood Brothers, 10th in the University of Racing Legends series. Got David Pearson's signature right there, University of Legends. Race, uh, universe, race, University of Racing Legends. We got University of Racing Legends again. Wood Brothers, 21. We have a little bit of a biography of David Pearson. A little bit of a bio of this car of this year. Here's a picture of David. 
Of course, we got the famous 21 David Pearson signature and David Pearson. And uh, we have some more black and white photos of the car, some more information, and our illegal stuff on the bottom. So, uh, yeah. There's that. And here's one more look at the car. And uh, I recommend if you can find this one to pick it up because it's um, one of the more iconic cars in NASCAR history. And um, with David Pearson being gone, I'm sure it's going to slowly, probably not immediately, be hard to find, but uh, slowly start raising in value and being hard to find, including his uh, number 17 Torino, which I'd like to get that one as well. But, uh, We'll see. Anyways, that pretty much does it for this video. Uh, rest in peace, David Pearson. <laughs> uh, one of the top five, arguably top five, definitely top ten drivers of uh, all time in NASCAR. But anyways, if you enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, if you want, you can follow me on my Instagram page at jpat underscore diecast2. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.